We've had a person wanting to get the guns built and do the shots. We've had a place built ideally to, to do it. Guys like Doug are here doing wind calls. And then for Dave and I as a company, we're making the customer happy and we're getting to participate out here in the shop. Then this is our last cycle. If you just looked at those last two magazines, really, that is what we were expecting to start with. It's getting colder by the second. I was already walking around looking at my boot tips. You know, I was ready to call it uh, pretty early. I can barely see that target now. Stand by for round. Check, standing back, working out. Hold 8.5. Let me know when you're ready. Ready? Send it. Round out. Let's talk about uh, the 4,200-yard shot and what what brought us to this point. You know, I met you back in 1996 when you guys first opened up and you guys started accurizing some of my guns. And from there, you guys started building guns for me, a lot of guns. I, I think this is really a, uh, a project that's that's 20 years in the making. It's really born out of friendship. All right, we started out as you know, a customer relationship and it's developed into a lot more with everybody at the stable. So for me, you know, I've had a lot of crazy ideas. You guys have basically uh, humored me and that's, I think that's how we've gotten to this point. Everything has been customer driven, oriented toward utilizing the range facilities that are, that are here. And it's not so much we haven't ever discussed or gone out to, you know, really prove anything or, or try to show anything. It's just been we have this great setup, right? We have Jim, we have FTW, and then we're in the gun building business. So we can bring all those three ingredients together. And it's, it's just meant, you know, meant to, meant to do. I think when, when Doug and I first shot at 3,600 yards, we had uh, a lot of consistency and we had a lot of confidence in making that shot. I think when we took it out to 3,800 yards, I think we, we experienced the same kind of thing. Most of our shots within two minutes, we had a lot of consistency with the gun, and we were really pressing the envelope way beyond what the cartridge was, was, was designed to do. And I think what we really learned this time is we went way past that, and even though we hit it 4,200 yards, you know, we're starting to see the bullet really, really fall off. You know, it's not about repeatability. It's about we did it. We had fun doing it, and we did it as and we did it as friends. Absolutely. And for me, that was that, that that's what made the, the entire weekend. For someone like me that has not been a long range shooter, we've had so much success with it so quickly that I really have taken for granted what goes into it and sort of how kind of ridiculous some of it is. And so, you know, to be here to have uh, someone like Doug that that understands the ballistic side of it inside out, you know, he's sort of entertained, he's gone along in a, in a big way, but at the same time, as soon as the gun gets repeatable and the shots get repeatable, you know, he, he's in. People we see every weekend shooting at 100 yards trying to hit a one inch square. How many people actually hit the little white dot out of the middle? This is like hitting uh, uh, the size of a pencil head at 100 yards would be the same comparison. When you're shooting that far, everything is beyond what you would expect it to be. Stand by for rounds. Check, standing back, we're good. Hold 8.5. Let me know when you're ready. Ready? Send it. Round out. Call it, Tim. Left and low, hit behind the uh, bunker here, dog. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that, that this weekend was the first time Jim had actually laid down behind the gun. Shooter ready. Send it. Round out. I don't have impact. Timmy, call it. Low left, dog, behind bunker. Left of bunker, low, behind. 
Part of the issues, of course, we dealt with was uh, a lot of the instruments that we were using stopped at four. Uh, we, we were out on our best piece of equipment. We were 200 yards past what it even can tell us. So it was a challenge from all of us to try to come up with some reasonable idea to even where to begin. I mean, go up eight, go nine. Go to nine. Maintain wind, go up to nine, hold nine. Round out. Saw it. Got it by the green target. Right behind the green target. We have sound. Did you see impact just right of the green plate? We got it. Okay. Go 8.4. 8.4. Yep. 8.4. And hold center. Okay. 8.4. 8.4 center. I didn't find visibility to be a challenge early on in, in the session. As we got later on in the day, and we were down to literally minutes of sunlight as the sun got below the target. That red target washed completely out and blended right into the landscape. Okay. It's getting hard to see the target. Yeah. Come on. Oh. See, I dropped 0.5 and it's yep. still high. Like yep. Okay, five. you ready? Five. Five, 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 five. No, I, I'm going to go, uh, sorry, go to 5.5. Five. 5.5. Five. Five. Winds go 0.3 left. Okay. Oh, see a tire. Reload. Yeah. Okay. Point five, fine. Let me know when you're ready. Shooter ready. Point four nine. Left point three. had the honor of being involved in this as a spotter as well, um, starting at 28 to 36 to 38, now 42. And I, I got to tell you, within 10 shots, I knew you guys were going to hit it. I, I knew you were. You're all around this target. Of the five factors, you begin to realize a poof of wind, literally less than half a mile of, of wind at that elevation, you're, it's off, off target. You guys have really got this down. I bullet the right gun at the right time. And that's impressive. Sorry, you guys have now built three of these guns for these three extreme events, 36, 38, and 42, and every one of them have hit it. And for me, it wasn't so. about getting, getting here today. It was really about all, spending all the time together as friends getting us to the same. It's the, it was the journey, not hitting the plate, right? The ding at the end was kind of like the end on the video. Icing on the cake. Icing on the cake. Oh, Icing on the cake. Right.